guys, uh, who's been sending me these things and three from... It's so weird. I got like three books and three flowers and three sets of Tupperware and three. Three. What's up with that number anyway? It's such a weird number. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Captains! Come in, Captains! Ah! Whoa! Hey there, Chief. We weren't expecting to hear from you so soon. I wouldn't be contacting you three this soon unless it were an absolute emergency. But this is an absolute emergency! Okay! You don't have to yell. You're on speaker, you know. A group of warmongers who call themselves the Snare Sneaks have stolen a very important and very powerful weapon. It's called the Gravitation Wave, and up until recently, it was the science community's best-kept secret. How did the Snare Sneaks find out about it? They sent a spy down to ally with the scientists, the Teons. Once the Snare Sneaks' trust was gained, the spy snuck in and stole the plans for the wave. They were successfully able to leave and return to their home planet Jormar, where they built their very own Gravitation Wave. The Teons were going to use this device to eliminate plague-written colonies, but now that the Snare Seeks have it at their disposal, they can use it against any planet they see fit. That could be any planet! That could be Quadramon! The Wabi have made many an enemy over the years. I wouldn't be surprised if these Snare Sneaks were one of them. We have to do something. If these little war-hungry monsters are as bad as they sound, they're going to take out as many planets as they can until they become the most powerful race in the galaxy. My point exactly. A group of Teons even went down to planet Jornai to try and stop the Snare Sneaks, but their plans were thwarted. They're still down there, being held captive so the Snare Sneaks can use them for information on how exactly the wave works. Those sneaky little Snare Sneaks. It's up to you three to go down to Jornai, help the Teons escape, and destroy the gravitation wave. Finally! We get to blow stuff up! Check back in once you've completed the mission. Over and out. Those poor Teons! They must be so scared down there, all trapped and alone and being used for information. Don't worry, darling. We're gonna get them out of there. And destroy the gravitation wave before any irreversible damage can be done. A security drone. Stay as far away from it as you can. If it detects you, it'll blast you to pieces. Look at all those guards. How are we supposed to sneak around all those little devils? We could always blast them. Or employ a stealth field. First things first, we have to get over to those Teons and get them out from behind that barrier. Alright folks, time to become invisible.
We're here to help. Yes, our calculations were correct. We boiled it down to simple numerics and estimated that our radio calls for help would reach a satellite three star dates from the time we sent it. It appears as though our estimations were correct. Wow, you Teons are so smart! We are scientists. We believe the universe itself is a science that needs to be studied. We are fueled by knowledge. So who is your leader here? I am. I am called Zachrond. Zachrond, how did the snare sneaks get you all in here? Through the front of the gate. They used a numeric code to open it and ushered us in at gunpoint. Do you remember the code? We were too terribly distracted by our own failures to watch them enter the code. Sounds like we need to disable the security system. I can do that! Do you know where the main security system breaker is? Just, Just on, on the, the other side, side of that rock, there's a security drone protecting it. Fantastic! It's alright, darling, you can do it. The security drones only detect movement. If you keep your movement to a minimum when its sensors are on you and disable that quickly enough, you should be fine. Alright, here goes everything! Fools for letting this happen to us. Yeah, you kinda are. Javin! We do not want to be a disappointment to the Teon Empire. We want to destroy the Snarsmith's gravitation wave and any blueprints they took from us for the design. Well, that's what we're here for! Which button? Which button? So many buttons! Blue, white, green... Uh, uh, come on, Inali, remember what your mother taught you! Mom was never the best for the vice. Oh, hey, check this out! Oof, oof. Off! Off! Off. It's off. How smart. She did it! All right, guys, let's go. Get that gravitation wave and bring it to the ground. You, Quappy, our weapons are over here. Please take them and use them to your advantage. There you are. That was fast. And comically simple. on board that has my name on it. Quite literally, actually. It's his birthday cake. Again. Because apparently, when you're a skyline, every day is a celebration. Before you leave, please accept this party gift. 
Um, what is it? It's a laundry pen. It removes stains on your clothes before you put them in the wash. Um, thanks. I think. Excuse me, captains. Yeah? I respect what you do. Admire it, even. If it's alright by your leader, I would like to join you. Uh, thank you for your interest, but we only have three chairs on the bridge. Hey! You're not the leader! I'm sure the chief would love to have you on board, Zachron. The more the merrier! No, it's four's a crowd. The three's a crowd? No, three's company. Oh wait, that was a TV show. Two's company. And three's a crowd. Then what are four and five? I've been contacted by the Teon Empire with the good news. Good work, you three. Oh. I'm sorry, four. Eyes must be going red. I, I see a new face in there. Hello, sir. I am called Sacrond of the Teon Empire. I would like to join these ranks. Yeah, sure. Fine by me. Work for the Power Rangers, you see where they ended up. What? Just like that? You're not even going to do a background check or check his credentials? I don't have time for menial things like background checks. I have more important matters to attend to. There's an All My Androids marathon on. It's leading up to the season finale, and if Fulgor takes back Technica, I will be so thrilled! I'm sorry. Tears. Don't, don't tell anybody that I cried. <laughs> I guess this means we'll be ordering another captain's chair. Welcome to the team, Zachrond. Thank you very much. You'll like it here, I promise. So, Zachrond, have you ever tasted the magnificent and glorious concoction that is the gift from the stars called cake before? Again with the cake. You know what tastes really good? Crepe fruit! Crepe are and cake it is! I wouldn't be contacting you. Oops. I wouldn't be contacting you three this soon unless it were a mer. Unless if. What? Where did the if come from? <laughs> I keep forgetting it's not called a planet buster. It's called a gravitation wave. <laughs> Two's company. Com company. Two's company. Two's company. <laughs> that could be any planet. Trapped alone and being used for information. 